All right, then let's go into here. And all right, then show on map. There it is. Oh, so we haven't actually been there yet. So let's go to Becker Farm and then we'll run in that direction. 27 caps. You're killing me, Larry. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. I'm still technically kind of recovering from being sick, but I'll be alright. I really hate the fact that my power went out. Hopefully, it doesn't go out again. That would be pretty terrible if it did. Um, is it straight across? We got some Pharrell ghouls right there, so I gotta be careful. I should probably go around, to be honest, though. I don't want to avoid... I mean, I don't... I want to avoid unwanted attention. <coughs> Even though I'm probably gonna annihilate a bunch of raiders right now. Luckily, it's not very far from here. We, I can already see the map, uh, the marker. All right. We are at our destination. This place looks pretty secluded. These guys are all going to get obliterated by the sheer power of the Brotherhood. In secret. Because I'm going stealth. Look at all these Brotherhood things. Can I aim? I can't aim at him. Or maybe he was just too far? Well, well. Uh oh. Working with run of the mill average wastelander, thought they wanted you strapped into one of those tin cans round the clock. Uh, it's wrong of me to judge by appearances, though. Why don't you introduce yourself? <coughs> um, the Brotherhood of Steel is here to claim this property. That's so. You got a deed to go with that claim? Because, uh, we're not gonna sign it. This vault and all material goods within. Oh, he scared me. Under possession of the Brotherhood of Steel. This requisition will aid us in the preservation of technology and the protection of mankind. Your compliance will ensure your safety. You know? Oh, snap. In hearing more about this <coughs> protection of mankind business. I suppose killing a few no good raiders is an easy price to pay for the benefit this measly little vault will provide for us as a species. Is that it? I repeat, your compliance will ensure your safety. Not that I'd expect a simple-minded brute to understand. Resorting to name-calling already. I have to say, I'm disappointed. Thought I'd be able to speak to someone civilized from a big-shot organization like yours. I mean, he's got a point, to be honest. What about you, Forward Scout? Think we can work this one out? Or are your underpants in as tight of a bunch as... Mr. Compliance. Let's see here. Uh, consider this repayment. Let me see. Uh, you're out armored, outgunned, and we have a potential advantage. Give it up. Actually, uh, well, I will. I'll definitely go with this. You're out, uh, out armored, outgunned, and we have. A positional advantage. Just give it up. Who's to say we don't have that whole platform you're standing on rigged to blow? Yeah, I doubt it. I'll call your bluff. You didn't expect us to come. Uh, all right, I'll admit this is a serious oversight. Should have known those initiates <laughs> who stopped by would have gone to prime to their superiors. <clears throat> Humor me on one thing. This place doesn't offer us any strategic leverage over the Brotherhood. If anything, you're going to waste more resources protecting a place so far away from your home base. So then, it must be the weapons that are important to you. What's so special about these rocket launchers that a top-ranking member would come to collect them himself? Um. I don't know how you became aware of our internal hierarchy. 
but it's irrelevant to the situation. You will leave the weapons in the vault and disperse. Now. This is definitely getting scary. How about you? Do you seriously take orders from this constipated suit of metal? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um. The weapons are Brotherhood property, and we don't tolerate thievery. Big words for someone who just barged in and claimed ownership of our storeroom. I suppose you don't have to follow the rules you apply to everyone else. Is that it? Because you have a righteous cause? That's fine. This story only adds fuel to our fire. Perhaps this is crazy. The stash isn't worth it. Not so fast. Tell us where you got those weapons from. Ooh, sorry, I don't discuss Raider affairs on Brotherhood territory. If you really want to know, you can come talk to me in Crater. Don't worry. Oh, snap. If it's only one of you, we don't usually kill on sight. Now let us through. I think we... I think that would be probably the best bet, to be honest. <clears throat> Are they going to run through here? Who's this guy? Oh, he's a Brotherhood Initiate. <clears throat> oh, we got a few of them. Damn, they really were outgunned and out armored. All right, nice shit. Talk to me. We completed the first part of our mission. You compose yourself in a manner befitting of the Brotherhood. We don't compromise, especially not with raiders. It's clear you understand that. Moving forward, we still need to track down the weapon source. That man appeared to know something. I don't care how you get it out of him, but make sure you get it. Uh, sure. <clears throat> I'll definitely find out where uh, the weapons came from. This is your top priority. The longer we let these weapons spread, the more difficult it will be to track down all of them. I mean, that makes pretty much logical sense. I want to see what these weapons are really fast, though. Let me see here. There's like nothing here. I'm kind of confused. The All right, whatever. So it looks like we actually have to go to Crater. How come this is still grayed out? <clears throat> That's weird. All right, whatever. Let's just fast travel to Crater. Uh, and while we're fast traveling, I'm actually going to grab a drink really fast. Alrighty. <clears throat> My throat's a little sore still from being sick, so I mean I'm I'm a lot better, but been I just basically just need to drink a lot of fluids, you know. <clears throat> Alright, let me see here. Shut up, Axel. This character's so confused, he doesn't know who to align to. He's a raider, brotherhood, he's a little bit of everything to be honest. Wait, where the hell? It's behind Crater? <clears throat> That's weird. Alright, so I guess I have to literally go to a brand new building behind Crater. Or maybe it was always here and I just didn't see it, I don't know. That's also a possibility. <clears throat> Crater War Room. Are we still on the same mission? We're on property rights. I think that's the same mission. I think we're supposed to go that way, but I want to see what's over here first. Can't believe they had the nerve to just barge in like that. Who the hell's talking to me? Like some kind of righteous safe. I told you. And they're only gonna get more confident. I won't let them. Do we have their patrol routes yet? A couple ambushes ought to take them down a notch. We'll have to discuss this later. We've got a visitor. Why, yes we do. Hi, Axel. So, you really I mean, Pierce. <clears throat> to be honest, I didn't expect the Brotherhood to show its face around here with anything less than a fully armored battalion. Life is just full of surprises, isn't it? So, what can I do for you? 
Oh, honorable emissary of steel. <laughs> this guy seems pretty smart, to be honest. Very cunning and sharp. I don't know. I kind of like this guy. Uh, so tell me where the Raiders got these weapons. About that. <laughs> you and your metal buddies put me in a pretty tight spot back there. There are people here in Crater depending <clears throat> on me. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it back to them. So I prioritized a little bit. Getting home to those people was more important than being completely sincere to a group of heavily armed tyrants. So if you're looking for help with your little weapon problem, you can look somewhere else. <coughs> Don't you think you're being stubborn, Pierce? We have a good little brotherhood peon here at our disposal. We can make use of that. We've been over this. There's no compromising with people like the Brotherhood. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. We don't know that yet for sure. Besides, everyone has their own motivations. Our visitor might have one worth talking about. I won't rely on a betrayal to take them down. <clears throat> you should know that. I have nothing left to discuss. I've given you my answer, Initiate. Now for your sake, I suggest you don't stick around. Um. Hey, you. Don't leave yet. I've got something to say. Okay, so speak to her then. Don't mind Pierce. He's stubborn. Holds too tightly to his morals. I'll tell you about the weapons. But you're gonna need to give me something in return. Interested? I mean, take me out on a date first. Damn. Uh. I'm not gonna betray the Brotherhood. Sure. Okay. Just hear me out, alright? You can make your decision later. I want intel on the Brotherhood. Records, roster, correspondence. You've got people specialized in keeping track of that sort of thing, right? You can transfer their data onto this holotape and bring it back to me. Then I'll tell you what you want to know. Didn't I say I wasn't going to betray the Brotherhood? I could have sworn I just said that and she still tells me her plan. She must not be that bright. Um... Uh, sure, whatever. Toodles. Hey, I say toodles. Scribe Valdez about the situation. That's actually a pretty smart idea. Let's go back to Atlas <coughs> and see what she says. She should have some pretty insightful uh, information that I could probably use in this unique situation we're in. <clears throat> if we manage to get there, of course. Let's go. <clears throat> I didn't mean to take my weapon out. I was trying to go into the building solo, but it's the same button that takes out the weapon, so it's, like, weird. Don't worry, brothers. I'm not going to shoot you. At the right. Oh, I, I guess they wanted me to. Hey, Scrap Valdez, Is I need to talk to you. Man? Well, if it isn't my favorite initiate, how can I help? Um, I need some help with the situation involving the Raiders that I'm in. Raiders, huh? Yep. If they're anything like the raiders we've encountered on the expedition route, then my guess is the situation isn't pretty. <clears throat> no, not really. How can I help? She's really sweet. I like her a lot. Uh, they have some information, but are asking for information about us in return. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I understand. The funny thing about data is you don't know what's real or not. Not unless you gathered it yourself. To be honest, I was working on encrypting my terminal for this kind of situation. So, if anyone accessed it who wasn't supposed to, they would just get false info <coughs> and none would be the wiser. Hey, smart. I didn't finish, but you can still use the fake data I created. Should be clearly labeled in the files. Just uh, don't select the wrong one. This is the raiders we're talking about. It'd be bad news if they got an advantage on us. Worse, if the knight <coughs> found out it was because of me. So, get some false information. Tracking. Um. 
Aren't you worried about unauthorized people accessing your terminal? It's not likely to happen anytime soon. <coughs> But an enemy could use our names, skills, and history to trick other members or develop a targeted strategy. I may also begin storing schematics and stockpile records on there. Right now, the Knight is doing it all by hand. Well, for now, I just hope we don't make too many enemies. I don't expect much from the Raiders, but maybe they're smarter than they give off. Pierce is, definitely. <clears throat> uh... So you're a programmer too? That's freaking amazing. Well, you know, just trying to help where I can. Rusty nails and live wires are fun and all, but sometimes it's also nice to write code without having to get my hands dirty. Makes sense. Well, thank you. Not a problem. <coughs> Alright, let's go ahead and we'll be ready. get in this. Uh, Atlas Observatory, Ar Observatory Archives. No, wait, that's not it. Chapter scrolls? <clears throat> nope. I'm going... Do I have to upload something? <clears throat> yeah, Sheena's holotape. So I gotta find it. <clears throat> it's in here somewhere. I really need to get rid of a lot of these hollow tapes. I wonder what stories are hiding in the mountains out there. I don't know. When you find out, let me know. Never forget the heroes <laughs> of Fort Defiance. I agree. Oh, there you go. Why? Oh, it's literally the last hollow tape in my inventory. Cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Uh, dummy files. <clears throat> I told them I was gonna betray them, so they're gonna be pissed off, though. Out there. Will do. do more than just fight. Let How me guess. Alright. To be a scribe, <clears throat> I put on patrol day and night. This should be interesting to say the least. They're not going to be very happy if they find out. And something's going. Something tells me they are going to know. <clears throat> should be pretty interesting to say the least. <clears throat> Again, I want to apologize if I'm coughing a lot or my I'm clearing my throat or whatever because my my throat it's not sore or anything, it's just kind of like like itchy almost. <clears throat> oh, no. The server almost crashed. That would have been bad. <clears throat> Knock, knock. Um. Sheena. You've got the holotape? <clears throat> I, yep, here it is, loaded with Brotherhood Intel. Just like you wanted. Good, thanks. The weapons don't have one source. Some of them we looted off a group of unfortunate settlers. We've also traded them among ourselves. Some old friends visited Crater a while back, wielding <coughs> that firepower, claiming they earned it in a fight. They were bragging about it till the day they left. Said they sent some big armored folks running. I can't confirm that the losers were Brotherhood, but that was your logo on the side of those weapons, wasn't it? Doesn't matter to me. <coughs> now, I told you what I know. With any luck, we won't talk again. Wait a minute. So the settlers were the raiders? You mean the settlers that foundation had them too? Yep. They may or may not have more, but they've definitely come in contact with them. That's not good at all. <clears throat> uh, the other raiders you got the weapons from, where do they come from? West. They said they passed through <clears throat> Ohio before coming here. I don't know how much further out they went. Did your raider friends mention anything else from the fight? They wouldn't <clears throat> shut up about it, so I learned to tune it out pretty quick. But I do remember them passing around a helmet with a bullet hole through its visor. A trophy from the Fallen. Damn. Alright, later. Don't change your mind. This was a one-time offer, and it's one that neither of us will speak of again. Yeah, especially you, since 
when you find out, you're probably going to get, well, they're raiders, so probably murdered. Uh, report tonight, Shin. Will do. <clears throat> He's going to be proud of us, because we gave them dummy intel. Maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point. This game really does have ridiculous low times. <clears throat> I feel it's gotten better over time. But even then, still pretty bad. Let's go. Night Shin, where are you? <clears throat> where is Night Kneecap? Over here. Hey, what's up, sir? All in. I see you returned to the Raider. Standing by for your report. Oh, we'll continue standing then. Uh, the Raiders got the weapons from two sources, possibly more, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> That's. Not what I was hoping to hear. Yeah, it's All not right. very pleasant news. Tell me about the sources. Well, for one, a group of raiders traveling west said they earned it in a battle. I see. And are those raiders still at Crater? Uh, sounded like they were just visiting. It can't be helped. <clears throat> we need to focus on Appalachia for the moment. Well, then you're not going to be happy that the rest of them came from the settlers. Um, uh, did you come into contact with those raiders? <clears throat> Without more information, it's impossible to say. We fought plenty of raider groups across the entire expedition route. Well, that's all I wanted to report. And the other About the raiders, that is. Uh, well, the rest of them came from the settlers at Foundation, actually. Weird, right? Foundation 2. This is bad. Worse than I thought. At this rate, all of Appalachia will be toting these rocket launchers. All because of... Forgive me, Initiate. I lost my composure. We need to follow up with Foundation as soon as possible. Yeah? <clears throat> Is Foundation really a concern to you? Peaceful or not, civilians should not have access to that kind of technology. It's too easy for things to go wrong. Take the Great War as an example. That catastrophe is the inspiration for our mission today. You know what? You got a point there. You know, military-style weapons can be dangerous if you're not trained properly. So, hopefully we could just Offer them training. Um. All right. Well, that's all I got to report for them. So that's everything. That was a thorough report. The Brotherhood appreciates your diligence looking into this matter. <coughs> Our next step is to deal with Foundation. Paladin Romani already had plans to establish contact. So you'll want to hear about this. No need to expound everything. I'll follow up later with a more detailed report. Uh, let me see here. The Raiders mention a knight's helmet. Did someone important die? A knight's helmet? <clears throat> it must be. Two other knights embarked with us from the west coast. Knight Thornberry returned partway through the journey. Knight Connors gave his life in honorable service to the Brotherhood. Show the proper respect when asking about him. To think they held onto his helmet like a trophy. It's unforgivable. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Uh, how did they lose? How did you guys lose possession of these weapons, anyways? That's classified information, <clears throat> Initiate. Not every operation runs perfectly. All you need to know is that we're fixing it. Oh, that was all. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium, brother. Yay! Property rights is complete. Let's see what the next mission is. 
Seems like we need to talk to somebody that seems like Paladin Ramadi. Supplying demands. <clears throat> Hello. Talk to me. Ah, initiate. I haven't had the chance to discuss your last assignment with Knight Shin yet. Was there something you needed to report to me directly? Kind of. Uh, we discovered that the settlers of Foundation may be in, po in possession of some of these weapons. Really? Foundation? That's troubling. How well do you know the people of Foundation? Uh, I mean, I'm familiar with them. <clears throat> That's good. Then I'm sure you're aware that they've managed to carve out a solid living for themselves in Appalachia. I spoke with a few members of their community, looking for ways to work together. We are in need of food and water. They have plenty to spare. However, knowing they may have those weapons uh, accelerates matters. It's critical that we follow up with them right away. Okay. Go on. <clears throat> Your mission is as follows. Meet with Gloria Chance, the supervisor of Foundation Supply Room, Determine whether or not they've seen or acquired such weapons for themselves. And lastly, establish a trade deal with Foundation. Something that will provide us longevity in Appalachia. I mean, that sounds pretty easy enough. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can actually do... And allow me to stress, both returning with the weapons and securing a trade deal are equally important objectives, Initiate. I'm a real people person. How's that a lie? Uh, Roger that, Paladin. Remember, <laughs> you represent the Brotherhood to these people. It was proud. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we got to go to Foundation and apparently establish a trade deal. Maybe we can actually talk them into accepting training. Hold on. Let's go talk to Shin first. Since that's the op uh, optional part of this. Hello. You're back. I assume Paladin Romani has <clears throat> tasked you with handling the situation. Why are you dragging your feet? Move out. Reminder. This is the armory, not the barracks. Take your conversations outside. Damn, relax, bro. Uh, do you have any advice about how to get the weapons back? Assuming uh, they have them, that is. By any means necessary. Returning with those weapons is absolutely critical. This is too important a task for a light touch. Do whatever it takes. These weapons are far too dangerous to be in anyone's possession but our own. Uh, I mean, that's fair. Uh, Paladin Ramadi asked me to establish a trade deal with Foundation, actually. What do you think about that? I see. This isn't surprising. But it's not the choice that I would have made. I will have a word with Paladin Romani while you're out. But remember, respect the chain of command. If Paladin Romani has tasked you with this, <clears throat> carry it out, regardless of what you or I may think of it. Well, I mean, at least he understands the chain of command. Uh, but do you have an opinion, uh, opinion on the matter? <clears throat> do not test my patience, Initiate. This is our way. Chain of command supersedes how we feel. However... I will put this as plainly as I can. I feel we'd grow stronger from continuing to rely on ourselves rather than focus on trade deals. Recovering the weapons, however, is more than a task. It is your duty as a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. That's all I have to say on the matter. You have your assignment. Carry it out. Yes, sir. Uh, go to Foundation's supply room. So Foundation it is. <clears throat> I'm glad that it's free fast travel to some of these main locations. I feel like it helps a lot, actually. Come on, baby. <clears throat> I bet you... I bet you... They're going to have some issues with these weapons. Willing to bet. That's typically how these things go in a video game. Let's see if my suspicions are correct. 
Let's go. I'm very happy that it seems to be outside. Oh, no, it's not actually. It's inside. No. Oh, well. Looks like we got to go through another loading screen. Oh, no, wait. It is outside. No, that's the Monica mine. I'm not trying to do that right now. Excuse me. Um, how do I get there? So down here, maybe? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Supply room. It's like all hidden and stuff. Literally a top secret location. At least it loaded quickly. Hey, Gloria Chance. You must be here about that shipment of Blamco mac and cheese. <clears throat> Great. I was starting to get worried. Uh, no. I'm actually here. Actually, this sounds better. Uh, negative, ma'am. I'm actually here with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm here on behalf of Pod and Ramadi, as a matter of fact. Oh, how <clears throat> professional of you. You say you're with Pallet and Ramani? That's fantastic. I didn't think she'd get back to us so quickly. She talked to him How already? Can I help you, uh, sire, your majesty, <laughs> your, your steeliness? Your steeliness. Sure, I'll take that, I suppose. Uh, initiate will do. Thank you. Uh, I'm here to discuss, uh, Padre Ramadi's trade deal. Uh, <clears throat> right. About that. Originally, we were hoping to purchase some weapons in exchange for food and supplies, but we may need to work something else out. After all, our last purchase is more than enough firepower for the time being. Um, last purchase? You mean you've recently bought weaponry? Yep, that's <clears throat> right. Hun, can you tell our friend here about those uh, thingies we picked up recently? Thingies, huh? Oh, sure thing. We got weapons all right, Initiate. You Brotherhood guys make some high-quality gear. And tell me if this sounds familiar. Tubes of explosive death with your logo on the side? Uh, maybe. Uh, well, let's see here. What would be... That does sound very familiar. Do you mind if I take a look? Oh, <clears throat> uh, sure. Or, uh, no, actually. Some guys from the town watch took them out for testing a little earlier. I'm sure you can catch up with them. They normally practice at a small site they set up near the East Mountain Lookout. A bit north of here. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Mike and them took the weapons out for a test drive. If you head over, I'm sure they'd let you take a look. I, I hope you understand those weapons are our property, though. We spent quite a bit acquiring them. But hurry back. I'm sure we can still find a way to work together, even if we don't need more weapons. Okay, this sounds bad already. All right, well, I'll head to East Mountain uh, Lookout now. Thank you, though. And send the fellas home, would you? They've been playing with those things long enough. Oh, no. They're dead. They're definitely dead. Let me, un let me toggle this one. So it looks like we're going way down here. So I could go to this dude's camp real quick. He the, He's on my team. And it's a free fast travel because we're in a f team, so... Luckily for us, we have that option and we can just run there. Hopefully there's no mountains or anything like that in the way cuz that would just kind of suck. I hate one of the biggest things I hate is going or having to go around mountains. It's, it's very annoying. <clears throat> Hopefully uh this works out for the best. Excuse me. Uh, oh, that's just the camp. So we got to go this way. Man, these guys are so going to be dead. I'm almost certain of it. Tubes of explosive death. Let me see. What's going on here? I don't see anybody. Just this guy. It's about time. Oh no, they are dead. Examine dead body. Uh, one of several dead bodies scattered around the area. They appear to be from Foundation. Oh no. That's not good. 
What else am I looking for? Weapon crate. Uh, a crate with Brotherhood of Steel logo on it. It's empty, but it appears to have held a large weapon. Huh. So I'm assuming we're just doing uh, investigative work right now. Maybe in here? Oops. From Mike. Secret. Uh, hey, if you're from Foundation, that means I've probably given you the password to access the secret information on here. If not, whoops, sorry friend. But if you are from Foundation, check out the info on this, scaven on this scavenger left. Uh, his spelling may leave a lot of desired, a lot to be desired, but it seems he found a perfect hiding place for something valuable. Uh-oh. Looks like the guys are getting annoyed that I'm taking so long. Gotta go. Mike Teller. I'll be taking those fusion cells, though. That much is for sure. There's something here, though. Let me see. Secret. Keep out. Wrong password. Get out of her. Okay, so this guy definitely seems to be illiterate to some extent. Well, that guy scared me. Where's he at? <clears throat> oh, he's probably at his camp, huh? There's got to be a password somewhere around here. What is this? Weaponry demonstration. All right, everyone gather around. Ward wanted us to record some instructions on how to use these things. Where's Mike? Hey, Mike, stop messing around that terminal and grab one of those rocket launchers. Uh oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I wanted to lock the terminal first. Uh, let me put this in my bag really quick. Up, Mike. That could be decades old. Just grab one of them and come here. Wait, Mike, I, I told you not to pick it up like that. Oh, snap! Oh, God. What have I done? Oh, my God, dude. He, he blew up his friend. That is a... That... Wow. Alright, well, at least now I can check this out. Should be secret. Nope, still the wrong password. Find the password. Where could the password be? I don't know, but I'll take those caps. Hmm. It's gotta be here, right? Eh? So it definitely is. We just have to find the password. It's probably... On some random piece of paper somewhere. In the toilet, maybe? Nope. Maybe on this body. Oh, I can't even... I can't even search that body. Uh, a large impact from an explosion. This would have been fatal to anyone standing nearby. So this is where... The dude got hit with the <laughs> with the rocket. That's so fucked up, dude. Huh. Where are we going to find this password? Oh, this bag. A bag with uh, the name Mike on it. You found password holotape. Tucked it to one of the pockets. Very nice. Found it. Took me long enough. Secret keep out. Uh, curve word mine. At least we found it already. Uh, found the perfect place to hide. Uh, you're safe from uh, that last score. There's a place near here. Cure word mine. Uh, I'll take some. It'll take some doing, but I got an idea that will keep all this stuff hidden. <laughs> this dude really cannot spell. Uh, away from a lifetime. Uh, meet me there, but leave, leave instructions in case you miss me. Auto delete. He spelled, he misspelled delete, so it didn't delete. Oh God. This guy definitely was not a uh, very smart, was he? So how far is Kerwood mine? Luckily it's, 
literally like not that far. Should I just use power armor and jump down? Do I even have power armor on me? I don't think so. Screw it. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> I should be able to make it on that roof, no problem. I'm just not sure if I want to risk it. Even though they say, you know, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. I'd rather not risk it for the biscuit. I'd rather just be safe. Whoa. That would have been a disaster. Alright. We should be good here. We still have a long way to go though. Oh no, that that's that's death. That is what you call death. This, however, isn't. Toronto! Alright, I think we're actually here. We should probably ready our weapon just in case. I think there's uh, mole miners here. Yep. Goodbye, buddy. I want to say, are you going to die or what? Uh, hello? Anybody alive? I'm just gonna say no and go inside. Nothing is real. So I wonder if the dude is still gonna be alive in here. It sounded like he is. So let's see how this turns out. We've been here before, or at least I have been here before. Oh God. Die. Oh God. What's up buddy? Nice of you to join me. Oh, I'm about to say, are you gonna die or what? I don't appreciate it, man. The way you handle that whole situation. I'll take all of that for the junk. Um, where's homeboy at? I'll take all of this actually. Hello. Please die. Oh, dude, that that dude was tanky, man. All right, I think we should be good to go though. Oh, hell! Look, it's Mike Teller. Hold it right there. Don't come any closer. Why? Calm down. I'm with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm just investigating those weapons. Actually, you know what? Okay, okay. Just take. Let's just take a deep breath. No, you don't understand. What I did, I. Oh man. He's I'm terrified. Mike. Mike Tiller. Go to Foundation. Tell him you found me dead. Because I'm. I'm never leaving. I'm not going back. You can't make me. They'll never believe me. They'll think I'm a murderer. I mean, you still got to answer for what you did, but you're definitely not a murderer. It was just an accident. Um. Look. Just relax, bro, okay? I completely understand what happened. We can talk through this. There's nothing to say. Just go and leave me. Oh, man, I don't think it worked. Is tight, and the way behind me nope. Is flooded. You can't get in. Just give up and go tell Gloria I'm dead. So I've been through here before a long time ago. There's, There's actually two ways to go. You can either go down this way uh, to a flooded area or you can just go around with the same effect. So I'm just going to go ahead. Hello. Come here. Oh man, I really thought I killed him. No, come here. There we go. No, it's a red rat. What, what would I ever do? 
Dunzo. Uh, the hazmat diving suit? Deuces. Alright, let me collect this first. Cave diving suit. Uh, listen up. I got a fancy dying suit <laughs> in this here box. Use it to dive in the water and find those valley boos. I put them in red bags so look sharp. Okay, so look for red bags. Um, Let me look at that. I want to look at it. Cave diving suit. Uh, grants water breathing and immunity from water... Radiation and disease. That's actually really good. This is the Far Harbor thing, huh? Yeah, it is. Sick. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I don't even know where the body went. Oh, well. Okay, so there's three sunken things that I'm looking for. <clears throat> I feel like they're gonna be really hard to find. Uh... Okay, that might not be it. So let's go back. And see if we can find a better way around. Found the mole miner. Actually, I think that might, that might actually be the way. I like that he has like a rebreather on or something. Sounds cool. Alright. So last time I went... Honestly, I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just kind of going along with this. So it's got to be here then, right? No! Let's hide for a second. While I switch weapons. Hello. Oh, there's two of them. Had I known, I wouldn't have reloaded. Die. Dunzo. Actually, yes, I'll take both of those. And same with you. So it's got to be this. Oh, what is this? Hidden valuable. All right, we found one. I want to find all of these bags. I'm just not entirely sure. Hey, my gear protected me from waterborne diseases. <clears throat> There's got to be more bags around here somewhere. Is that one right there? Yes, it is. So that's two. I don't think there's any more in here. It's too close for there to be one in my opinion. So, all right. So this is where you fall from the top. So let's go towards our objective. It's probably at the end, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm going to keep a sharp eye out just in case though. But we need one more. Oh no, this is the end, isn't it? No, don't do this to me now. Okay, good. I don't see anything. Did I miss it? Uh, I think I missed it. I want to run back. I want to find that thing. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe if we go towards the other side in the fork of the railroad. So right here. It'll probably be in this direction. Where or where could it be? Oh, found it. Awesome. So, we can just go straight there now, then. Alright, so it's this way. This suit is pretty cool, all things considering. This thing was heavily irradiated before. 
You know what? I'm going to keep my weapon out. Just in case. Um. So these guys are all dead. Requires key. So I need to find a key. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Hey. There we go. Found it. This actually, I think, was already there from the beginning, so I think we're fine. No, that's not the key? Well, that's not good. I think we're on the wrong side anyways. Oh, no. Quietly back away. If we're very quiet... Find the back tunnel key. Is it really going to make me go this way? Alright, let's try to... Swim straight to our objective. I wish I would have found it first. It's literally... Man, really? Alright. Yeah, I don't think I would have discovered that unless I was being very very thorough man that means I'm gonna have to kill that mole miner don't I let's go to sneak mode just in case yep I'm gonna have to kill him all right let's be quiet where is he wait for it Uh-oh. Did a little bit of damage at least. See you later, alligator. Sure, I'll take that for... You know, destroying it basically. For mods. I really need to go and fix my weapon. That's what I really need to do. Oh god, I can't see anything. I'm blind. Is it this way? No, but there's wet uh ammo. Nothing I need though. I think I think we found it. I think we're in the clear. <gasps> uh oh. Get out of here. Is there still another one? Honestly, I was I'm almost certain of it. There we go. Dunzo. Alright, I think we're good here. It's only a matter of time till we find another one, though. Oh, God. Oh, that's just a mole, mole rat. A very tanky mole rat. Get out of here, dude. I got business to take care of right now. Alright. Boiled water, I don't need that. Honestly, I don't... Um... All right, let's go. Ooh, I want, and I want. Hello. Let's take these weapons for. Oh, he's got a key, doesn't he? Oh God, you made it! How did you even? Please don't hurt me. I'm not trying to hurt you, bro. I'm just here to talk. Okay, I can explain. We were just testing these out. You know, Tad picked them up a while back. They, they seemed really powerful. They were always telling me, be careful, Mike. Don't pick it up that way, Mike. But my finger slipped and I killed them all instantly. But it was an accident. I, I swear. I never. Oh, God. 
That's pretty messed up. Like, pretty messed up. Uh... Gloria and Tad will understand. These weapons are incredibly dangerous. This really isn't your fault. I mean, it is, but... It was an accident. Uh, I mean, sure. But that doesn't change... What I did. How can I face them? After I... I... No. You're right. They should hear it from me. I'll go back. On one condition. Let me bring the weapons back myself. Gloria and Tad will know what to do. I'm sorry. They're the only ones I trust to take care of these. I have to make sure I get back to them. Honestly? Uh... I think I would rather... Take it. Uh... On the way, let me bring them back. I dragged all these in here. Oh... And you're right. Man, that was dumb. Fine. You bring them and meet me at Foundation, okay? Alright, will do. Did he give you a key? Yeah, uh, yes. Weapons cash, I'll take that. Absolutely. That recon pistol. Hold on. What was it called? 10 millimeter recon pistol? Oh, it's just an attachment. Alright, whatever. Let me just unlock this even though I don't need to. And fast travel back to Foundation. I don't know why I was so lost right now for a second. So we gotta go talk to Gloria again. And let her know. I'm pretty sure I could have probably just gone straight to the Brotherhood. But the mission was not only to secure the weapons... It was also to establish a trade deal with the Settlers at Foundation. So I think the wise thing and the smart thing to, uh, would probably be to just go straight to Foundation and see if we can make a deal. Even though we already are in position in possession of the, you know, the, the weapons, it's probably best if we do go speak to the Settlers first. Just a thought. All right. And maybe while I'm here, I should fix my weapons too. Don't go there with me. I didn't even say anything. Shut up. What's that uh, it was this way, and then there should be some stairs that goes down, right? If you say so. How do I get there again? Oh, yeah, right here. There we go. I was confused for a second. <clears throat> Luckily, this should be an easy load. Are you going to let me in or what? There we go. Took the game long enough. Eventually. This time it's, load, it's taking a while to load for some reason. Right when I became the team leader too, the game decided to go crazy. I wonder if we're ever going to find out what that whole sickle man situation was. I mean, I know we have some basic lore, but we did, I kind of want to know more about him. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Any minute now.
Okay. Uh, we should be good now. At least I'm still the team leader. That's pretty cool. Alright. So now we just have to make our way back into the armory. Oh god, the game's still like loading in, so it's like hitching up a little bit. Enter as team leader, yes. Let's see. There we go. At least we can finally go in there. Hey, look, there he is. Mike was just telling us about what happened out there. <clears throat> I can't believe it. All those boys, just... It's a lot to take in. I'm still I bet. trying to wrap my head around it. Um, well, honestly, accidents happen, especially when you're... No, I'm sorry for your loss. Is there any way I could help? Help? Well, I see you've got our weapons. You could start by giving them back. I told you, we bought them fair and square. Tad, enough. We still need to find a way to work with these people. I think... I think we should try and wrap up business between us now. We're going to need to tell those families about what happened. Yeah, we are. It's hard to think about at a time like this, but settling on a deal and having you on your way is probably for the best. Now then, I understand you'll want to take these weapons back with you, but that won't work for us. They cost us too many caps to just let go. Unfortunately, regardless of where they came from before, they're our property now, and they'll need to stay with us. I mean, technically they were stolen from us, so they're still our property. Uh. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. I think them having our training would be the best thing. Period. So, your people lack discipline, not weaponry. Let us keep the weapons and we'll offer training. I think this is probably the best. Let's go let's go ahead and try and see what happens. Well, hard to argue with that. We're not exactly the most disciplined bunch. You don't say. It's true. Maybe if I had proper training, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I mean All right. The weapons are Can't argue with that. Me, but what would the brotherhood need in return for training? Um, let me see. Well, I only have one real option. You can provide us surplus food, uh, supplies, and any intel on unusual we weaponry like this in the future. That's actually a pretty solid deal in favor of the Brotherhood, in my opinion. You're not going to make me do push-ups, are you? Yes. That would be the end of the world. Okay, we provide food, water, and the latest scoop on weird tech. And the Brotherhood provides us with training to better defend ourselves. Sounds pretty fair to me. I agree. Oh, it's a deal. Push-ups included. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Please let Paladin Romani know where we stand. Thanks again, Initiate. Looking forward to doing business with y'all. Awesome. I think Paladin Romani is going to be pretty happy about this situation. So let's go back to Fort Atlas. And tell her about the situation and how we struck a deal that's actually very beneficial towards uh, towards us, aka the Brotherhood. I think we made the right choice. I think with uh, Mike accidentally killing his people. That kind of proves that they need training and discipline and all that stuff that probably the Brotherhood is the only ones that can provide that kind of thing to them, you know? Oh, wait, I'm still naked. Let's go ahead. <laughs> we were talking to those people literally butt naked. All right, anyways, um, let's put that back on, that back on. I still have my backpack on, so that's good. And my bandana. Let's go ahead and see myself and make sure I'm good to go. And I am. Let's go inside. 
I can't believe she didn't tell me anything that I was like butt naked right in front of her talking about weaponry and the Brotherhood of Steel. Talk about unprofessional. Dun dun dun. Alrighty. Paladin Ramadi. I got some news for you. Hello. Welcome back, Initiate. I was just discussing the missile launcher matter with Knight Shin here. I imagine you're here to report on your dealings with Foundation. Well then, don't keep us waiting. Uh, well, I mean, I've returned the weapons and a trade deal. Foundation will also re report weaponry and accept training from us. Interesting. So they'd be willing to take our lead when it comes to how they handle defense in the future. Wait, does he like this our... This could be mutually beneficial. At the very least, we may be able to rely on them to keep the crater in check. That's... he... he's we impressed. To exacerbate aggressions between the locals, Night Shin. Initiate. Your heart is in the right place, but we need to be careful about creating too much imbalance in the region. I'd be happy to recruit members of Foundation into our ranks if they want to learn to fight, but making the settlement more militant is concerning. I mean, I disagree. So you'd be okay if they're properly trained, but only if they're flying our colors. That sounds more like a recruitment drive than an effort to help others. Fair. That's enough, Knight. You know it's more complicated than you're boiling it down to. Besides, we have a more pressing issue that the Initiate has uncovered. It's troubling that the weapons have spread to this degree, but there isn't much we can do beyond dealing with situations like this as they arise. But, Initiate, I hope you know you've done well. Thank you. How Is that it? Maybe we should check in with Scribe Valdez. She had mentioned wanting to bring something important to our attention. That's right. Initiate, please let the Scribe know we're ready for her. Night Shin and I have a few things to discuss in the meantime. Dun dun dun. Dude, we got almost 500 caps for that mission. Very nice. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Let me see here. Uh, light machine you gun. Mutation treated as an example to the other troops. Shut up, dude. Keep walking. I want to see. Uh, it's time for the Appalachian Brotherhood to reestablish something. I don't know. 